Oh my god, the black hen's life has come. Why is there so much death in this episode? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the 100th episode of the Not So Fairy Challenge. Oh my god. What? I can't believe we've hit 100 episodes. In fact, I didn't even figure that out. Someone in the community told me. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite moment was of the series. And if you're brand new and this is your very first episode, welcome to the family. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time a new video goes live. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And if you aren't new, but you still aren't subscribed, what are you doing, buddy? Our goal is to hit 800,000 subscribers. I don't mean to yell, but come on. I know. Oh, at least 50% of you that are viewing this right now aren't subscribers. That's wild to me. <laughs> All right, we are back here with the Barry family, Amber Barry, the hero, the lead of this story on the precipice of adulthood. She's got five days left until she ages up. And August will be aging up the same day. What is this? Huh? I don't know. He's going through some stuff right now, apparently. It looks like Jacqueline and Rose have a significant amount of time left, but it looks like less time left than our teens which makes me stressed out. I do think that once the kids move out, I might move Rose's sister back in with her. I feel like that makes sense because Rose's husband just died. I also would be okay with actually moving her in now. That might be kind of cute. We could have her move in with Amber and Amber could like kind of share the space. I'm gonna put this stuff in the inventory. I'm gonna pop her little desk over here. That looks great, totally usable. And then I'm gonna put a bed in here. That matches. So so here is our beloved Rose. It's 2 a.m. I think all of you should probably go to bed. Wake up at a normal time, please. Oh, she's tense from missing out on her dreams. Maybe she misses writing her books and she's worried about that. She wants to listen to new age music. Why don't you do that? And then you can discuss your fears with your wife. See, she's already feeling so much better. Actually, you know what? Why don't you discuss your fears with your son since he's already awake? He's interested. She comes up to him. She's like, you know, I've just been feeling like my life is passing me by. I'm getting a little bit of a late life crisis. I'm thinking, did I accomplish all my hopes and dreams? And he's like, mom, you know, it's never too late. Oh, what a good boy, August. Now she's feeling confident. She's battled her fears. And you know what that means? You're gonna write yourself a romance novel, sweetheart. Look at her going back to her office here. Resume. Oh, the Newsian Chronicles. I forgot that she was writing that, but she's feeling really confident, enjoying her home studio. August is also also feeling very energized. I think he's really happy that he could give some friendly advice to his mom. Jacqueline got up hungry. Get some leftovers. August is cleaning up his acne. He's gonna go have a little morning workout. So cute. Jacqueline's enjoying the leftovers. And chatting with her wife in their beautiful room. She's gonna go read a nice little book. Just enjoy spending time together with her wife. Oh, and their chicken's inside. August is also decided that he wants to sit in here with his moms, have some quality time. As usual, Amber is sleeping in. They're all up at 8 a.m. Amber is still asleep. How's all our chickens? They're all doing pretty well. Eggs ready to collect are two. Fantastic. We'll maybe clean the coop, collect the eggs, and scatter some feet. Oh my gosh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, my chickens! You're scaring my chickens! Oh! Avery is getting in a fight with my chickens. Run to the chickens, August. Fix this. These are my eggs. This is my coop. Ooh. We've got a hatchable egg in here. Oh, it's a normal. Okay. Why don't you incubate the egg in the coop and see what happens? Amber is up. She is stressed out. She's also feeling like she has some unfulfilled dreams, specifically ordering a pizza or cloud gazing with Katrina. She's going to eat though. August is just being such a good boy, taking care of everything for moms while they enjoy flirting with each other. Oh my gosh. August is also having some fears coming up here now. They all have fears of unfulfilled dreams. It's like catching, like the flu. One sim having this fear is fine, but this, sometimes these fears book the crap out of me, you know? Amber's gonna go chat with her moms, eat some breakfast. She's enjoying the flirty atmosphere. Amber just got a sentiment with her moms. She's feeling good. She's enjoying their companies. She's like, all right, my moms are flirting. I'm out. And Rose finished her book. Amber finished her resolution. She's feeling so confident and happy. Oh, give a little 
celebratory kiss to her wife where they match in their pajamas. So beautiful, so cute. August is feeling pretty good, pretty energized. Maybe it's time to call your friend over. Javin is the one that we've been like hanging with lately. We're going to invite over Amber's friend as well, Katrina, to hang out today. Okay, Javin's gonna be right over. There he is. Invite him in, chat with him, talk about the warm temperature. And then Amber, oh my God, is on the treadmill. You know what, I'm gonna let her do this. I think that now that she's like wanting to join the workforce, ooh, and join the cops, you know? She's like, oh, I need to start leveling up my fitness to be a fit cop. August is, oh, enjoying all these birds. I'm gonna hang with his friend who I think went inside. Yeah, he went inside. I don't know where Katrina went. Oh, there she is, she's with us. Yay, she's chatting with us after our workout. Katrina's so sad. What's going on? She had a death in the family. Oh my gosh, no. That's so sad, poor Katrina. Let's try to cheer her up a bit. You know, discuss her sad mood, console about death, and then we'll kind of give her some knock-knock jokes. Comedy is the best medicine. Oh my God, and look at mom doing her flipping yoga outside because she's a pro. We're having a pleasant conversation. Let's cloud gaze with her. Maybe she's just like, I miss being young and everything's coming up so fast. We're almost done with high school, but they're so cute. They're having this good time so that they can discuss her fear of vampires? She has two fears. She has a fear of vampires and she has a fear of fulfilling her wants. I mean, the fear of vampires is warranted. She's talking about her fears of her dreams. She's a little comfortable because she's fatigued from her workout, but now she's feeling really confident. She battled her dreams. Oh, become some best friends forever. And then we're going to make some jokes. And you know what? While I'm at it, I might end up giving her a makeover. That's right. If we're best friends, you're having a makeover. Honestly, I really like the blunt bangs with the hair. I'm curious if there's a CC version of this that I can give her that looks better. All right, so this is Katrina's new hair. I kind of like the jacket with her. It feels like her, to be honest. So I might just give her some jeans and some matching shoes and call it a day. It just feels like Katrina. I'm gonna go with that. This is actually very pretty, Katrina. I like it. Why would you wear jeans to work out, Katrina? Come on. Let's not do that. Do like a blue and yellow look-ish. We got the blue shoes, perfect. Sleepy time. I'm not mad at it. I don't get the necklace, so we're gonna pull off the necklace. Great, Katrina is acceptable now. There you go. See, now she looks kind of normal. Tell her an urban legend. We're just gonna keep telling her jokes because we want her skill to go up. And are you playing football? No, where's your friend? Why haven't you played any football? What is your deal, bro? Why are you in my room hanging out with my mom? Stop that, come play football with me. This is literally the reason why you're over here, Javin, okay? What are you doing, buddy? Okay, he's running over. I'm like, dude, uh, go hang out with your friend. I thought I could like set this and forget it, but no. Can we play football now, please? Dude, play football with me. Are you kidding? No! Stop eating and play football with your friend. Where is he? Oh my gosh, I'm at my wits end here. Okay, there they go. They're finally, finally playing football. Amber, no longer with her friend, but with Rose. So she can tell Rose all of the same jokes that she was telling her friend. Perfect. August is now eating. How much did you do of that football? 25%. You know what? I give up. I give up. I don't want to deal with it anymore. You just hang out with your friend. We're going to hang out with our friend. Where'd your friend go? Okay, maybe she's leaving. Yeah, she said she's going to head out. Okay, why don't you watch comedy upstairs in your brother's room? August is going to eat, I guess, and hang out. And Rose, why don't you invite over your sister and invite her to come move in with us? All right, Briar's coming to hang out. Here's Briar. Oh my gosh. Invite her in. Let's make sure she's taken care of. Give her a hug. Bring up some embarrassing childhood moments. Compliment her outfit. And then we're gonna invite her to live with us. Aw, these two twins are catching up. They look even more similar now that they're older. Oh yes! Okay, she's moving in and she's bringing all her money with her, which is kind of convenient since the twins will be moving out and taking money. Okay, let me see like if there's anything in our inventory that's like hers from the old place. Oh yes indeed, there are so much. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. Why did I do this? Ah, it's fine. It's kind of cute that we're gonna have to like combine our things. Oh, this is her bouquet from when she got married. Well, we can't throw that away. See, this is the reason why I did this, you know? It might take more time, but then we can have like her little wedding bouquet on the table here. This is so cute. Like, why wouldn't we want the wedding bouquets out? And then we can have her console here. Wow, we have so much 
much money now. This is so crazy. I forgot about all the things that we had left behind in that previous house. A sales award. Oh yeah, that was ours for when we worked in a company. We've got her gaming computer. Maybe we should put that up here. We'll delete this guy and we'll put Briar's gaming computer. So, so Briar feels like she's really moving in, you know? Oh my gosh, and it's the jersey. She could give that to our boy. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, I'm just so overwhelmed with all of the funny, like nostalgic things I'm finding in here. Look at all the plants she brought with her too that we used to be in our room. All the cat stuff from their cats that died. Oh, we got a TV. Okay, I was thinking we would put the TV in. Even though I don't think Rose wants a TV in the house really. I just don't think it's her vibe. I do think that she'd do it for her sister. There you go. Briar's got her TV. And Briar's all moved into the house. Welcome home, Briar. And also, it's time for Briar to get a makeover and age up finally. Oh my gosh, this is aged Briar. I'm thinking instead of the updo, we could do, oh yeah, like this. I totally see this being Briar's vibe. Okay, this is perfect. We'll make it hot pink. Yeah. And then let's look at pink options. No. Oh, I like this. Okay, this one's fun. Let's do something like this. I really like the amount of colors and prints and patterns. Sleepy time is grand. Party time. Well, maybe we could do like, yes, with some fun shoes. Perfect. Okay. Auntie Briar has come home and she's gotten an age appropriate makeover. Oh my gosh. How sweet are they bonding together? Oh my God. I just love it so much. Amber and her brother are both having baths at the same time. Twinning. Literally because they're twins. But look, the twins are downstairs and the twins are upstairs. How cute is that? Maybe go tease him about his crush. She is feeling very funny right now. He hates it. He hates, hates, hates it. Ooh, and why don't you perform a routine for everybody? Why don't you do ocean explorers? Okay, everyone, gather up. Come sit down and listen to my hilarious routine. They're all getting a little tired. It is late, but she's practicing. This is the first time she's done any of the performances for her family, and Briar loves it. Briar's really enjoying it. She's bringing the house down except for August, who seems like an eternal hater and is singing instead of watching. Oh, Marco's here. Okay, what's going on, Marco? That's like one of her really close friends. I didn't realize they were so close, but you know, these kind of things happen on Social Bunny, apparently. What's up, Marco? Why are you here tonight? Okay, he just like came over to hang out. What's your deal, Marco? Do you have a crush on me? What is his deal? I'm so interested. We are hungry, so maybe we'll cook something together. Let's cook our gourmet meal. Ooh, salt and pepper shrimp cocktail. That sounds delicious. She's gonna go make that. Oh, but Briar's settling in fine, warming herself on the fire. You could play a little game. Why don't you play like density effect? She does love her games. Well, Amber's in here chatting with her mom, Jacqueline. Oh my God, it's almost Rose's time. Makes the most of these final days. Stop it, game. It is not almost Rose's time. I absolutely refuse. The teens haven't even aged up yet. I haven't even had like her get married or anything. Oh my God, I'm gonna be devastated. Jacqueline's enjoying her daughter's food that she made. Amber's enjoying eating and chatting with her mom. It's also 3 a.m. on a Monday, so I think my kids need to go to bed. Jacqueline needs to go to bed, and Briar, why don't you head off to sleep too? I know you're not very tired, but it's time, okay? It's 3 a.m. Oh my God. Roseberry, don't you dare die on me, okay? We're gonna take extra care of you. Maybe we need to write the book of life for her, put her name in. I don't know. Maybe we'll write a book of life. And then once we go, whoever can go grab the book and put my name back in and then we'll come back out, right? Like that's how that works, I think. I know you're hungry. Go downstairs and eat, Rose. Great, she's feeling flirty, fantastic. Since you're getting on your computer anyway, why don't you write another book of life? We're gonna keep ourselves alive. We've already done one with Jacqueline. We're gonna send the students alone today to school just because I want them to just do school. So we're going to listen to teacher. Briar's enjoying spending time with Rose. She's sitting in the room watching her write the book of life. She's like, you want to write me one too, sis, while you're at it? Rose is like, yeah, I can try to make that happen. Jacqueline's still asleep. Ooh, Amber reached writing level two. Good job, kids. Ooh, cram night. Amber has extremely important test coming up, but school has been so busy lately. Should she drink a ton of cola and cram right up to the test or should she find some light activity to do? Oh, she would probably do a cola and cram situation. Amber 
Amber's brain goes into hyperwarp as she begins devouring information. Luckily, the sugar and caffeine rush lasts all the way through the test before a mighty crash hits. Nailed it. Good job, girl. All right. Why don't you go outside, collect the eggs, and clean the coop for me, Briar, since you're here and you always like to work in the yard randomly when you visit us. And then you can also sell all of these. Also, have you retired yet? Oh my god, no, she has not. All right, why don't you retire, sweetie? You don't need to keep working anymore. She's taking out the trash. What a good roommate Briar's turning out to be. She's just crushing it. Are you sure Briar should retire? Yes, I am sure that Briar should retire. It's her time. Jacqueline's knitting. Look at all my elderly female sims just thriving in their twilight years today. We love to see it. Rose finished her book. Good job, Rose. I'm gonna put that here. Well, she's gonna go sleep. She's tired. All right, go to sleep, I guess. Take a little nap. Oh, these two are getting along fine. Discuss fears of death. Oh no. Oh, Jacqueline's getting afraid of dying. Jacqueline, you are gonna be the last to die, unfortunately, or fortunately, I suppose. This fox is having zoomies in my house. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Avery, you need to get out, okay? Avery, out. Leave my chickens alone. Oh, they're starving. Oh, no. We need to scatter some feed nearby. Oh, my gosh. Amber better shape up their one wrong move from getting expelled. What'd she do? What did you do, Amber? What did you do that you might get expelled for? You're still an A student. I don't understand. Why are they threatening you again? Why don't you go here? Don't do anything. Just wait for practice, okay? Amber, I think you need to, like, do your homework or something. You just have to wait till Friday. Friday. We got this. You need some fun? Why don't you practice the comedy routine? And look at our mom, Jacqueline Ever the Fan, watching us. We are very quickly going to finish up this requirement, and then we'll just need to finish up the cooking. Oh, August team decided it was a good idea to have the rival team pretend practice so the pressure of a crowd can prepare everyone for an upcoming match. That sounds like a bad idea. When practice started, August started to hear soft mumbles coming from the guest team. He paid it no mind at first, but the mumbles grew loud into petty insults. While August knows this is very immature, he kept his cool and continued to concentrate. Not the same composure could be held by his teammates, though. One of them lunged at one of the rival team members, starting a nasty fight. He's gonna calm them down. He wouldn't cheer them on. He'd be like, no, 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 let's cool it back. August steps in and does the right thing. The teams are not there to fight today. There needs to be some kind of truce. The teammates apologize to each other and for now and thank August for his tremendous responsibility. So, August. All right, why don't we go upstairs to our brother's room and watch comedy. Watch some TV while we decompress from school today. She's definitely got some senioritis. Oh my god, he did it! August did it! He's been promoted to football team captain. He looks mad. He's pretty annoyed with what happened today at that team practice with everybody, but he got promoted, which was the goal. Why don't you take a cold shower? You know, you're stinky, but also you're a little hot-headed. We're also hungry. Why don't we cook up something? A tuna maki roll? Oh yeah, she's gonna make herself a tuna maki roll. She's feeling very energized. Oh, Amber. I cannot believe she did something else to make her almost get expelled from school. Oh my God, what is happening? Someone's been attacking my birds. Oh my God, he stole an egg. Not on my flippin' watch. Jacqueline, go get him. That's on us for not getting the eggs out, but absolutely not. And how is your request? Requirements going for the challenge, darling. We're at gourmet cooking level four, so we still have quite a ways to go with our gourmet cooking. But it's okay. She is only a teen. I guess she doesn't have to be the prime chef of gourmet cooking. She has the rest of her life to learn that skill. And she is very funny, so there's at least that. How are you doing, August? Are you feeling pretty good? He's earning keep an A for three days in a row. Should have already been done. I'm so annoyed that this goal oriented didn't really work out. Rose is like, no, sweetie, don't worry about it, okay? Oh my god, did someone clean up my book of life? Where is my book of life? Life. Okay, it's here. Maybe I'll put them in Amber's inventory so Amber can do this. It is 9 p.m. though. I suppose it might be time for bed for everybody. So let's go to bed. At least for the older Sims. Oh my god, are they fighting again? Avery's back! Flipping foxes are on my case. Amber, go take care of Aubrey, okay? Be like, no, stop it. All right, kids, let's go to bed. We got another day at school to go. We got to get you guys aged up. We could age them up early too. Oh my God, there is a baby chicken ready to hatch now. That's really cute. Rose is going to be so excited. Everyone's in bed. Good night. Oh my gosh, look at all these Sims. So many. Oh, Amber's chick hatched on its own. Yes, a little baby chick. Look, oh, so cute. There's a new baby. Oh, 
Oh, Jacqueline's sad. She just woke up a little bummed out. That's okay, sweetheart. Get some leftovers. The kids are getting up. They're getting ready for school. They have school in about an hour. Amber, what are you doing? She just walked through a wall. Amber, you now have scientific powers. Oh, she's eating a salt and pepper shrimp for breakfast. Okay. Outside, because it's a beautiful day with the chickens. Maybe she's excited to see the new baby chick who must be out and about. There it is. Oh, the new baby is born. All right, we're going to follow our Sims as usual to school. Hopefully this time Amber doesn't get into trouble if I'm here to watch her. And we'll see baby August's crush is at school today. And maybe we'll see what she does if she like comes up to him or not. Okay, she is definitely here and she's dressed up. Okay, let's brighten her day. Let's chat with her. Amber's just taking pics and then chatting with her friends. Is anyone doing the T-Post challenge she can join in? Yes. All right, she wants to join the T-Post challenge here. Meanwhile, his goal is working out at a workout machine. Oh, these two are having a random fight for some reason. Compliment her outfit. Maybe ask her to be his girlfriend. Let's see how that goes. Will you be my girlfriend? She said yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, this girl's being mean to my girlfriend in front of me. Uh-uh, not cool. We're going to tell her to go away. I get that you're sad, but don't take it out on my girlfriend, Molly. Wait, Molly even left. Go hug your girlfriend. Be like, babe, I'm sorry that that girl from Monster High was so mean to you. It's okay. I prefer your colored hair much better to her colored hair. Maybe we'll do some football together. Amber, do the T-Pose challenge. I want to watch you do it. Okay, Amber's doing the T-Pose challenge. <laughs> Alice Archer was like, that's great, Amber. Good job. And August is having some fun with his girlfriend. They're all heading into class together. Amber's super on her phone. But she's going to class. She's actually in class before her brother. <gasps> Shock. Appalled. Thrilled. August was distracted trying to find the right color pen for note taking and missed part of the teacher's lecture. He heard the phrase CT, but doesn't know what that was for. I think it's probably critical thinking. August quickly takes notes, but still somewhat behind. Oh, poor August. He's probably thinking about football. Amber wants to go browse the web. Well, yours says to be friendly to a student. So why don't you be friendly to one of your friends, aka Amia? Let's compliment her outfit. I'd be like, nice t-shirt. She's also a little hungry, so maybe we should order senior lunch since we are seniors now. Aw, nice! They had a bonding moment! And we need to be nice to a member of faculty, so we'll do a little cheerful introduction to the cafeteria worker. She's gonna be like, you know what? I haven't met you before. It's nice to meet you. And Afu's like, it's nice to meet you too. Ask about his day. How's your day going, Afu? Looks like you're a little tense. August is really sad. Why? Oh, he has some fears of unfulfilled dreams. That's okay. Why don't you introduce yourself to Edward and then you can talk to your girlfriend about your dreams. He's like, you know, I don't know what I want to do with the rest of my life. I'm feeling nervous. And I think that we're going to discover that he might end up not wanting to leave high school ever. Maybe he wants to be the PE teacher slash music teacher slash football coach. And that's okay. Where did Amber go? She went downstairs to chat on the web. Okay. <gasps> Briar's life is coming to an end too. Oh no. Okay. 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 This is bad. This is very bad. Everyone's going to die soon. August is feeling great though. And she's feeling fine. She sat in the back of class. She's going to take some notes. Good for her. But of course our son is the one that's still having issues. It started as a simple whisper among the other students in class, but now it has grown far more intricate. Someone's mom's cousin's kid did something or other after school. No one can keep the story straight. When a classmate asks August what he knows about the subject, should he keep spreading the rumor or stop at his track? Let's stand up for the student. That seems like him. August calls the rumor rubbish and calls out his classmates for spreading such obvious foolishness. They glance at one another abashed. And a Tuesday is over. Okay, end of the day report. Both of them impress their teachers. Good job, kids. Let's go. August says a new girlfriend as usual. Amber's here. She's enjoying herself. Okay. If we're going to write the book of life for my sister, we need to do that like now. So we're going to sit down and we're going to write the book of life again. And this time it'll be for Briar. This one's Jacqueline Berries. Okay. So we need her to capture the epic saga of herself. Can we not use it on ourselves? I don't think we can use it on ourselves. Oh no. My sneaky idea is wrong. We can do it for Briar though. Well, then there's no reason to finish this book. All right, we're gonna read Briar's book of life. Amber's, as usual, watching her comedy shows because she loves watching comedies. You know what? I think that Rose will call and get a cat for the family because they deserve it. They deserve a nice little cat. Oh my gosh. I think I want an adult neutered cat like Cleveland, but which one looks like kind of the most like them? Yogi is cute and also it reminds me because they all like yoga. So let's go with Yogi. Oh, the family will finally have a cat again. Oh, there's Yogi. 
Oh my God, Yogi fits right in. Cautious introduction. I wanna see what kind of cat Yogi is. Ooh, Yogi seems afraid of my fireplace already. Uh-oh. Okay, Yogi seems okay with us. Let's see if Yogi gets along with being pet. Yogi likes the pets. Oh, very sweet. Can we get to know Yogi? Yogi's friendly. Oh, that's perfect for us. Give Yogi a big treat and adopt Yogi. Oh, so sweet. Yogi the cat, yes. Yogi Berry, perfect. All these little old ladies are gonna have so much fun taking care of you. And if they all die, we'll adopt you, Yogi, okay? Amber, how are you doing? How's your skills going? Comedy's level eight. Ugh, comedy's taking forever. I don't know what it is. Rose is having fun with Yogi though. And Briar is, ooh, dangerously tired. Briar, don't work out then. What are you two doing over here working out? Stop that. Go take a nap, Briar. Oh my gosh, you're gonna kill yourself. Oh, let's brush Yogi, calm Yogi down. We're gonna take care of you, Yogi. We also never got rid of any of our stuff for cats. So Yogi was always meant to be ours. We are still working hard, but we are getting close to level nine of this skill. I just want her to be the perfect joke star that she was always meant to be. Briar is still not feeling too good. Why don't you take a bubble bath, okay? You calm your little muscles, you poor thing. Amber is still going away at comedy. I wonder if she'll finish it before we go to bed. It is getting late though. Oh, I'm gonna miss these two when they're gone. These two little old ladies with their daughter Amber and their little cat and the cottagecore lesbian love story. So cute. Oh, and look, Briar's feeling better. She's fine after relaxing a little bit. That's good. That's really good. I'm glad that she's feeling better after her nap and her bubble bath. Yes, comedy level nine. Okay, did the cat wake you up? Don't wake me up, cat. He's gonna teach the cat. Oh, and no scratching. Yogi's like, I don't like you, kid. I don't like you one bit. But Yogi learned. Good job, Yogi. Yogi's so needy, I love it. Yogi's staying in the room with him while he's in the bathtub. So curious. What a cutie patootie. Yogi is fluffy, friendly, and a glutton. Oh, that's really cute. All right, Amber, I think it's time. I'm ready for this to happen. You're ready for this to happen. Come on down here and cook a cake. Strawberry cake, perfect. That's as peachy as we can get here. We're finishing up our strawberry cake. She's gotten better. Remember when she made that disgusting cake for her mom's birthday? Like, this is getting very impressive. Briar reached fitness level three. Briar, stop. Why are all these old ladies keep trying to work out? Stop it. And take our quick little shower because she's really stinky. Use the bathroom and then it will be finally time to age up for these two kids. A couple days early, like we could have waited two more days, but I've aged up Sims a little early before anyway, if we wanted it to be on the weekend or if it just made sense. So I think it's time. All right, let's blow out the candles for Amber. It's her birthday. All right. All right, Amber, she's trying to get around her brother. Happy birthday, Amber! She's gonna age up into an adult. And it's your turn too, August. The twins are aging up as the twins are dying. What a vibe. Amber has aged up, which means it's finally time to give her her last trait, which is of course foodie, which I think she's been working on for a long time. So that's kind of perfect. And her aspiration is still Jokestar, I believe. Amber has graduated as valedictorian. How did Amber become valedictorian when they almost tried to ditch her? Are you kidding? Oh my gosh. Well, there she is. I really thought that he would be valedictorian. Maybe they both are. They're co-valedictorian. They just want her to make the speech because they know it's going to be funny. That's really why. And August aged up. I think music lover. He's really liked music ever since he was a kid. I just really like that. And then his aspiration is like kind of up in the air for me at the moment. Let's make it big happy family. And he also graduated with honors. Woohoo! It's now time to give them both makeovers. Gotta change it up a bit. So we have this adorable look. I love, 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 love it. But I do think it's time for just a little something different. Yeah, there you go. Yes, this one's peachy. Okay, so this is young adult Amber. This is her new hairstyle. This is cute for her young adult look. I still love this fit. So we're gonna keep this one. This one, I think we could kind of make an adjustment to. Yeah, that's kind of cool. This one's nice. It's definitely giving the right color. 
work. Let's do that with like a pair of nice pants, maybe. I feel like the move is jeans. She could wear this to work. It's like a cute young adult classic vibe. And then our formal wear, maybe something like that. And then for athletic wear, I like the idea of, this is what she's wear to like work out with the precinct, you know? Sure, perfect. All right, so this is young adult Amber looking so good. And young adult August Barry, what are you up to? What are you doing? What's his vibe? I don't know. Why don't we wear these two? We'll wear like this and then we'll wear like this. This is his fit. I don't think he's gonna change too much what he wears. He just won't wear probably his school uniform anymore. Looking cute. Honestly, I still like all the vibes. I think it's all great. I think this is like a another thing of like August kind of being more set in his high school ways versus Amber's like always been kind of looking forward to getting out of high school. So I think this suits both of them. This is our more mature August. And now I guess we decide to move out and let all of her family members die. <laughs> oh my God, look how cute she looks in her new hair. We're gonna gather up all the things that are ours in the house that we can't live without. So we're gonna grab her guitar. He's gonna grab his keyboard. I actually don't know if we need to grab his keyboard, but he's gonna grab it anyway. Okay, is there anything else we need? Obviously we need to grab all the books that my mom wrote. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, here it is. Briar's dying. Oh my God, it happened. Oh my God, 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 Rose. This is so sad. She just died in front of our friend Elmer. That was a jump scare. That scared the bejeebus out of me. Oh no. Oh my God, what a day. And it's storming out. At least we got to spend Briar's last days with her. She got to be surrounded by family that loves her and cares about her. Oh my gosh. Where is August? He's just vibing. He's just vibing, afraid of the thunderstorm. He didn't even know that Briar died. Whereas Amber, Rose, and Jack Jacqueline are absolutely devastated, but you know what? It's okay. This is part of the circle of life. It is kind of cute that I got a notification of play a sim from birth to natural death. I feel like I should have gotten that already from multiple generations, but you know what? I think maybe they didn't die in my household and that's why. I'm gonna put this in Amber's inventory so she can add it to the family grave. So sad. I could bring her back to life with the book of life, but I just don't know if I need to. It would just prolong the inevitable and I feel like I'd rather be here for it than it happened off screen. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we're like trying to move out right now and all my Sims are dying. I guess we'll grab these photos off the walls. It feels really weird to grab these photos from our parents' houses if we just expect them to die. But I do want a couple of them. Oh, this is Rose and her mom. Oh my God, we need photos together with our family. Hold on, we need family photos. All right, take a photo with Rose and then take a photo with your mom. I just want a bunch of photos. Look at these two. This is cute. I wish it was more well lit, but it is what it is. Good silly one. Oh, I wish we had taken a photo with Briar, but I didn't think of that. Oh, this is a good photo of us and our mom. Oh, look at this photo. Shut the front door. I love it. Rose is having a nice little cake moment. She's really sad about her sister's passing. It's only seven, but I think everybody's kind of tired. So we might just put everybody to bed. Oh, the white hen has a big care. Oh my God. Look at the hen house. Oh my gosh. Okay. We need to take care of these hoops. I'm so sorry. The hens are gonna leave us. Everything's dying on me or leaving. It's such a sad episode. I thought this was gonna be a fun episode. Oh my goodness. Amber's so upset. Rose went to bed. I think Jacqueline should go to bed. Amber, why don't you and your brother like hang out? They're gonna hang out in his room. Oh my God, Jacqueline's life is coming to an end as well. Oh my God, the black hen's life has come. Why is there so much death in this episode? The black hen is dying and the chick is watching it. It's okay. Okay, though. Oh, I like that he is the hen pets as he takes the hen into the great beyond. That's very cute. Yogi's doing some scratches and playing with the chickens in the backyard. Amber's feeling a little better watching her favorite comedy specials with her brother, but he's gonna go to sleep. Amber's gonna eat some food and then go off to sleep. Oh, poor Sims. I don't want to watch. I don't want to go through this. I don't want to wait around for my Sims to die. It's so miserable. Oh no, Rose is up. Is she gonna die? Elderly demise, yep. Oh my gosh! I didn't even need to wait that long. Oh no, Rose is dying. This is so sad. She lived
lived a long, happy life and she saw her children to adulthood. Oh no, and Jacqueline's waking up and seeing. As sad as this is to watch all these Sims pass, I think it'll mean a good fresh start and we'll make sure to have our Sims very young from now on so that the grandparents can have time with the younger Sims. Oh my God, stop watching TV in my room. My mom just died, leave. Okay, Grim. Amber's sleeping through all of it. Oh my gosh, Jacqueline's devastated. She's a widow. She's gonna die tomorrow. I think we should just bring Jacqueline with us. Like she can sleep in Amber's bed with her and we can bring the cat. But I think I'm going to actually leave this one here with my family devastated. And the next episode we'll be moving. We'll add all of my moms and aunts and uncles into the family lot and start a whole new career path. Hopefully meet the love of our life. Make sure to keep adding your sims to the gallery using hashtag Kelsey not so very. And sorry to leave this on such a sad note, but we're starting a new chapter next week. And I'm really excited to get started. Until next time, guys, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye!